Thank you very much. Um, I had intended to start to talk about uh, the housing crisis that we have, but since the President was busy tweeting this morning and you referred to HUD's role in dealing with the uh, hurricane disasters and what you and the administration are doing, uh, this morning uh, Trump threatened to abandon Puerto Rico recovery efforts. Uh, President Trump served notice Thursday that he may pull back federal relief workers from Puerto Rico, effectively threatening to abandon the U.S. territory amid a staggering humanitarian crisis in the aftermath of Hurricane Maria. Um, in a trio of tweets, he wrote, we cannot keep FEMA, the military, and the first responders who have been amazing uh, in, in Puerto Rico forever. On Thursday, he sought to shame the territory for its own plight. He tweeted, electric and all infrastructure was disaster before hurricanes. So you talked about what you, HUD, is doing in cooperation with, I guess, the administration. Do you agree with the president? Uh, I certainly agree that uh, Puerto Rico is a very important territory. Uh, the people from Puerto Rico have contributed greatly to the culture of America. Well, I'm, I'm not talking about that. What I'm talking about is these tweets where the president threatened to abandon Puerto Rico recovery efforts. Do you agree that they should be abandoned, that Puerto Rico should be abandoned? Well, first of all, uh, as I was saying, Puerto Rico is a very important part no, of our culture. No, I know it's and important, as a but I want to know whether or not you agree with the president who's threatening to abandon Puerto Rico recovery efforts. I think I just said I have no intention of abandoning Puerto Rico. They're a very important part of who we so are. So you don't agree with the president? He tweeted, electric and all infrastructure was a disaster before, her, uh, before the hurricanes and sought to shame the territory for its own plight. Do you share that opinion? I think that uh, our job is to make sure that we take care of the disaster that has occurred. So you don't agree that it should be abandoned, is that right? Of course it should not be abandoned. And you don't think that they should be uh, shamed uh, for its own plight, is that right? Uh, there is no question that there have been a lot of difficulties in Puerto Rico. They ended up should they be shamed for its own plight and, and debt. I don't you think it, I don't think it uh, is beneficial to go around shaming people in general. Okay, so I'm glad to hear you don't agree with the president. Must watch insane debate between Carson and Waters proves the worst about Mad Maxine. Representative Maxine Waters, DCA is a known sufferer of Trump derangement syndrome. The congresswoman has called for President Trump's impeachment many times and has trashed his cabinet on multiple occasions. Secretary of Housing and Urban Development Ben Carson has frequently been a target of her ire. Earlier this year she vowed to take his ass apart when she had an opportunity to question him in Congress. Carson testified before the House Financial Services Committee on Thursday and the two finally had their debate, if you could call it that. Waters continued to interrupt Carson, putting words in his mouth to try to prove that he was criticizing President Trump. Check it out here Waters begins by asking Carson if he agrees with President Trump's earlier comments on Twitter suggesting the Puerto Rican government take more responsibility for their disaster relief efforts after Hurricane Maria. saying. Trump threatened to abandon Puerto Rico's recovery efforts. Do you agree with the president? Carson replied, and through several interruptions from Waters, said that Puerto Rico was important and should not be abandoned. Waters then said, Okay, I'm glad to hear you don't agree with the president. Okay, now here's the thing President Trump never said he would abandon Puerto Rico. He said that we cannot keep FEMA, the military, and the first responders in PR forever. We cannot keep FEMA, the military and the first responders, who have been amazing, under the most difficult circumstances, in PR forever. Does this mean he's abandoning Puerto Rico? No. It means what it says the personnel for emergency relief cannot stay in Puerto Rico forever, and the island's government needs to start getting things back on track. Vaccine Waters already started from a false premise and trying to trip Ben Carson up, interrupting him multiple times so he could never get his point across.
This shows poor leadership from Waters and a strong bend for partisanship and dishonesty. Luckily Carson kept his cool and stayed calm the entire time. Think it's time for Mad Maxine to retire? Share it out, Patriots.